Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching the second part of the Holy Grail, the biggest and best collection ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Approximately, what, I'm sorry, what, 9%? 12%? I'll say at least 9 to 12% of most of the hollows that's been printed from LOB to possibly Cosmo Blazer. I did not get most, I did not get much from Tachyon, except maybe the cover monster is the Ghost Rider. Okay. But I'll say from Cosmo all the way back to LOB and in between with the 10s, video game promos, and dual terminal, mm -hmm. and then so. Yeah. That's, 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 it, it is massive. Okay. If you guys haven't watched the first video, it is, it is an amazing binder. Like, I couldn't. I know collectors that would cry because they don't have this. And what did I tell you? Yeah, like, he, he told us yesterday, he was like, I have the best collection ever. I was like, I don't really know. I mean, I've seen collections in my life, and they were good. I've seen all tournament pack collections, but they fell in comparison to something like this. This is just every card, like he says. Oh, we, we, get, we get to the nitty gritty. <laughs> oh, oh, the, the pretty ones. Now, brace yourself. <laughs> brace yourself. <laughs> brace myself, young now, one. put on some shades for that. No. Oh. oh, Is that everything ghost? Odin is on the, on the next page. But these what? are the booster synchros. Just the booster ones, not the gold series haunted minds. Booster based ghost, yes. Uh, all right, you ball it, you ball it, you right, you right. <laughs> And then, of course, Ultimate Black Rose, Ultimate Star Rose. Is everything Ultimate, too? Well, not, ultimate, not everything, just from here and then on back that I've pulled from packs and bought off of other people. I'm talking about all of the dragons. Um, yeah, I see Black Rose, I see Power Tool, I see the Stardust, the, the, what's the name, the Ancient Fairy. Yeah. So, Red Dragon Archfiend and that's it? Or? I didn't get the official booster Red Dragon Archfiend. I could not get that one. I don't know why I couldn't. I've only had the one from the 10, the secret one. The only one I think you get. I could not ever find the base set one of that. That was very hard to get at one point. Then of course our infamous Goyo Guardian, may he rest in peace. Hold on, hold on. This one's very special. Oh, wow. I've had it since it came out. That is so beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Very, very So lovely. now you have all. Oh, you serious? All the dragons. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. I have to shake your hand for that. I have to definitely shake right. your Your collection is just amazing. It's going to sit in my binder. I'm going to play it, and then I'm not. So I'm like, you know. These, like are stop the, these are from the Germans. The Advent calendar. These are actually German cards. Oh, I, I, just, I learned about that like two days ago. I went to Frank and Sons and bought the whole case mm -hmm. for $50, $55. And some of the synchros I really did sell, but these were the ones I really wanted to keep. Uh, Stardust, someone actually bought the Stardust one off me for $65. And that, mm -hmm. oh, that was over with the whole set. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, sure, dude, you want to pay for it. And that was his first offer, so of course I didn't shut him up. I would not say no either. I normally don't sell, but Worlds, I don't know. Worlds has got me interested in it. So this selling. and concludes the, the regular synchros. The other synchros are behind this page. Mm -hmm. Are we on time? We're at three minutes. Okay, so now we go to our dual terminal synchros. This is actually a complete dual terminal set of only the hollows of the supers and the ultras, which makes 50 dual terminal set cards from set one through six. So you have the whole story in terms? From the dual terminal set? Yes, I do. Wow, that's... I remember at one point when he was playable, he was like an $80, $90 card. Mm -hmm. These are still playable today. These go for like $40 and $50 a piece, depending on who you sell to. Yeah. And I know out here in Vegas, dual terminal cards are really, really hard to come by. Yeah. So. I mean, there are some places that are harder because we're like right by California. But, I mean, we could drive down there. But other than that, there's no dual terminal. terminal. So, yeah, it's... It's extraordinarily hard to come by these. So that is a complete set of the dual terminal. Wow. Color. You guys just watched the dual terminal soccer. <laughs> so this is my Japanese collection of synchros. And this was the one we saw the, 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 the Taiwan guy. He was mm -hmm. playing that print. Yeah. He actually played that exact print. I said, I have that card. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, Sorry about that, guys. We were uh, cut off by security. They didn't want us shining, you know. They said, uh, no, we like still like the band list. And we was like, let our band list go. And then things happen. Bring so, back Sengen. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but um, carrying forward with this, just all, all of the dragons, Japanese, I see. This is a gold series Japanese. Okay. And 
the power tool, just every dark flat top. This is the go. This is the this is Japanese uh, Dual Genesis base set. Okay. And that Crimson Blader is uh, a Attack Force Six Japanese pro knife. So it's Attack Force Six video game. Yes, that we did not get in the U.S. We only got ja Attack Force One through Five. All, all, all Japan you today. Attack Six was the, was the only one released. Cause usually they release a European version like they did for Three, mm -hmm. but they didn't release a European version for Six. Ah, uh, which is really sad. Because if yeah. they did, it would have been an English card. Yeah, you're correct. You're correct. So this is my this is the end of my synchros. Now we're going to cross over into the world of the Exceeds. And if you, if you recognize the back of these sleeves, these were the same sleeves they used at Worlds last year for the decks. Wow. A friend of mine was in, was at that Worlds visiting, and he brought me back a pack of them. So I said, sure. Yeah. So, I, so it's customary fitting up with all my Exceeds in these black sleeves. Okay. So the first page is for Everything is ulti. Okay, you balling. You balling. Then these three is from the Duelist Red Box that you ordered from Japan. Okay. And it came out. These that they consider secret, not this pattern. Right. Japan does not print patterns like this. Okay. They print the tic tac like the, the square. Kind of okay. Yeah, the okay. Ugly kind of style. I like to see them more than ours. And this was the first time the X Saber got the sync the X Seed prints. Okay. One from the other. Okay. Everything else is... Oh, you have the and number... the new YCS prize card, that OCG yeah. variant, the giant hands. It's a, it's the prize card now? It, it will be the yeah. YCS new prize card, yes. Okay. okay. I've had this card for the past six months. <laughs> so now, if I just want to run the card, I can just... Because I never do the proxies with the paper. Mm -hmm. If I proxy, I'll use one of my OCG prints. I proxy Black Shield. I proxy... This was the very first... The seed that I got from the OCG was the, the new part of the number 34 terabyte. And then Magic Magic Magician Gal still to this very day has not been issued a TCG variant print. This is another print we don't have in TCG either. The Stingray Tomahawk is this a number that got a printed sooner or later. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I know it's, I didn't really like its effect, but I like the yeah, way it looks. Its effect is kind of crappy, but yeah. it just looks nice. Now, for the OCG, St Steel Swarm Roach and uh, Constellar Romero were dual terminal, not base. Oh, wow. And these were little booklet promos that they give tips and tricks on how to play dual terminals better. Mm -hmm. So they're like little mini strategy guides that actually give variant cards that work on dual terminal machines. But okay. these will not work on an English dual terminal machine because their programming is slightly different. Okay. But right. some of the dual terminal Japanese cards like these two actually does work on an English machine. So I kind of bend the rules a little bit. I went to 100th edition YCS with these printed cards played on the machine before the single, before the Ixies were officially TCG released and they scanned and then all the Konami officials kind of was a little upset at me for doing that because <laughs> I created a high score that no one else could beat because none of these are technically in TCG. They didn't exist. Season. So they looked at you like you, we don't like that you uh, did that. But yeah, they were a little upset that I did that but they didn't mind.